Hi guys, it's Jamie and welcome to Gilbert Farm. Um, we're gonna let the chickens out. Let's go. Okay, so here we are coming up on the fence. Now I leave the fence on hooked at night um, because they have the hardware cloth uh, around their coop. I just don't feel it's necessary to also run this all night long. Um, until I have an issue, uh, I'm just going to leave it unhooked. So we're going to go in and see what they're doing. <clears throat> up here. I use this little bungee cord to keep the door open. Here's their feed. Before I let them out, I uh, always take their cap, the caps off their feed. All right, they're anxious in there, so let's pull this handle here, and we'll watch them come out. She's up in there somewhere. Oh, there she is. And they go out and they eat their bugs for the morning. And they're usually pretty sassy in the morning, flapping all around. I want to say hello. Good morning to you too. Oh, good morning. Yes. Good morning. How are you? Hello. They think I have food. Yeah, she looks like she's going to jump up on me. Uh, yeah, this typically happens. This is mushroom. Say hello, mushroom. You gonna jump down? <laughs> She's looking at herself in the camera. <laughs> All right, before you poop on me, hop down. My pirate bird. Come on. She's gonna squawk. And that's it. That's it for the morning. I'll come out a little bit later and uh, I'll clean out the coop. I'll show you how I do that. And right now I'm just going to hook up this fence. So hooking up the fence is pretty easy. I just tie these two poles together. Um, I typically don't tie them all together. Um, just because I'm constantly going in and out of here. Um, but you connect these two wires and then you add uh, the orange clamp, which is the power. And we're gonna go over here and turn on our solar unit. Um, this was got from, uh, I did purchase this from Premier One. It's the PRS i25, it's been a pretty good unit. So now it's on. And the chickens have learned to not go near the fence. And that's all that's involved in letting the chickens out in the morning. So a little bit later on I'll show you how I clean out their coop and make sure to check their water and their feed. And uh, then I'll show you how I close them up for the night. But right now, I'm gonna go get myself a cup of coffee. Okay guys, it's about 8.30 and I'm gonna go clean out the chicken coop. Let's go. So I use this bucket here to scrape um, all the poop into it. And stole this from my husband. Um, we're gonna use this to pick up the poop. All right, so the first order of business is turning off this fence. You can tell it's off because the light's not blinking. 
I have some people who think they're getting some food. Some birdies who think they're getting some food. Alright, now we're just going to unclip this. Alright. I'm going to pull this open. I'm going to get my bucket. I think they're getting a treat. I got my followers. Okay, so this coop is built with two doors. Um, one on each side to make it really easy to clean out. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the coop in the morning. And we're just going to go ahead and pick off all the poop on top. So I'm going to put my bucket up in here. And hopefully you guys can see this. curious as to what's going on. Sometimes she helps me scrape. She'll scratch. You gonna let me scratch? Huh? Oh wow, I'm getting them all up in here. That's a first. Up a bit. And uh, I have this coop spray that I use, which is uh, pepper and oil, lavender oil, some Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap, a little bit of water, a little bit of alcohol. Shake it up and let me just. <laughs> Spray it in here. Chase all the birds out. And it just really adds a nice, nice scent. I don't know that it necessarily helps with any bugs or anything, but it really smells good. And now we're going to go to the other side. And I'll clean out the other side. Hey guys, we're on the other side of the coop and uh, do the same thing. Just kind of scrape off what's laying on top. These pine shavings really do a nice job of kind of absorbing any liquids uh, and just kind of keeping um, the poop <laughs> on top. Um, another thing that I use along with this is uh, some diatomaceous earth. I don't know if it actually keeps out bugs, but I haven't had any issues so far. And I also put down some sweet PDZ. Um, that is something that is uh, kind of like kitty litter, but it's all natural organic, supposedly. And it doesn't harm any of the birds. It's, it, you sprinkle that down and it kind of helps with the odors, the ammonia odors. Um, again, my coop has very little to no smell. And right now it actually smells like peppermint lavender, which is really nice. Um, probably about once a month I'll come in here and clean out the pine shavings. We are about due for that. Um, <laughs> I always have visitors. We're about due for that and I'll show you how I do that in another video. <laughs> She's gonna come over and say hi. <laughs> That's it. I'm back in the coop 
And uh, the last thing that I do before I walk away is just make sure that they have their food, they have their water, everything is nice and um, nice and clean for them. And uh, if there's any poop on the stairs, sometimes I'll scrape that off into the bucket too. And then I have my curious birds. Hmm? You can't do that, true me. <laughs> Listen. I need to clean. And they have food. Nice and full. I just feed it, filled it yesterday. And their water is good. And that's it. I'm just going to tie this back up and uh, turn the power back on. Then we're going to go dump the bucket. All buttoned up. Turn the power back on. And we have our poop bucket. You can see there's like, I don't even know, maybe three cups of um, shavings taken out of there. Uh, that's about what I take out every day. And then, like I said, when it gets too low, I just replace it. So we're going to go take this over to the composter. Now we have two compost bins. Um, one is, actually I shouldn't say, we actually have three. We have a compost pile that's over there behind the tractor, and that's a pretty big one. And then we have two compost bins that are next to the house. And this is mostly for when I have food scraps, um, it's really easy to pop out this door and dump them right in rather than filling up a bucket or carrying them all the way across the yard. We're just going to go ahead and dump these in here. And you can see we just dumped this recently, so this is pretty fresh. That's it. So that's how simple it is to uh, clean out the coop. Probably took me maybe 10 minutes to do all that. Uh, pretty simple. Um, I will go back and maybe give them a couple treats throughout the day or a treat throughout the day, visit them. Um, and then at night I will tuck them in and we'll be back for that. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, we're back and the birds want their treat. I got these Katie mealworms um, that I got from um, Big Box store that starts with a W. Um, it's a really large bag. I got it for about 10 bucks there. It's the cheapest I found them anywhere. Um, these are just one of the treats that I give the birds. I do give them vegetable scraps and um, sometimes I give them um, some oatmeal um, or uh, some uh, maybe a little bit of oatmeal mixed with a little bit of yogurt. That's not very often because it does give them diarrhea. Um, sometimes I give them some weeds or raisins. Okay, I gotta show you this. They want their treat. They're pecking at the bag. Okay, well, let me get them their treat. I'll show you what they do. They're mad for these things. Watch this. They're probably going to eat my hand. They're getting pretty bitey. Ouch. They're like potato chips for birds. And that's it. I don't give them very many. Alright, this one's my favorite bird. Alright, that's enough. Alright, birdies. That's it. If I leave the bag here, they're... It's kind of sad. They're going to peck through the bag. That sounds like a turkey. That's almost like a tease to them. Tease them any longer. You had enough. No more. No. You had enough. 
So I just picked the girls up from school and they're having a little bird time. I'll show you what they're up to. Oh, they just pecked it. They know it's all from. Where's Temmy? Temmy? You were just. Temmy. Oh, Temmy. Temmy's fabulous. Yeah, I'm going to try and catch maple. Oh, I like to see this happen. <laughs> Watch as she escapes, am I right? <laughs> she ran away from me. Once again. <laughs> maple does not like to be She will in a second. <laughs> Where Timmy's so sweet. Oh, this is a feather. It's a pretty one. Add to my collection. This is a mushroom feather. Mushroom, I have your feather. Watch this, Timmy tries to eat it. You're looking at me like you're going to jump up on me. She might. She's giving me the look now. She's like, what? Me. If you love me, let me go. Who are you trying to get? She's over here. Temmie's still like don't very sleep. She's just like moving her head everywhere. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Just not sure. Hi. You're trapped in here, chickens. Gary's actually bigger. See him while there's Pookie, he's like, or um, Chocolate, he's like, oh, me. Oh, chillax, chillax. I'm gonna get her this time. You're not sleeping. Ha ha! I got you. See, now you know what love is. Tell the story of Maple. Maple, she was so sweet and kind, but she started not eating. So then we brought her inside in the cage, and then she, so we could like try to put her to sleep and eat. So she now has started to like, she's like more aggressive, and she always runs away. So I always try to catch her because she's my favorite bird. Do you, do you think that makes her more mean by trying to catch her? No, because I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to get her to calm down because I think if I can um, try to hold her, for like more, maybe like a minute or two if I can. See how she's like not moving and I'm like barely holding her? If she starts squirming, I would let her down, but she's not right now and she's just being nice. And I'm trying to train her to just, just to be nice instead of being so mean so I can hold her. Okay. I don't think she liked that. Nope. She's squiffing at her. <laughs> I think she just shook off your cooties. Yep. It's about 7.27 and the sun just set. So the birds will be going to bed soon. And they'll go on their own. As soon as the light hits a certain level, they'll all go in. I'll see if I can try and catch it on camera. Gary, the silky right there, usually cries and uh, gets everybody to go to bed. You can hear her. And there's always one or two stragglers. Timmy there is always the last one in the coop. Usually with Maple right behind her. But she'll come in. <clears throat> and they'll usually argue in there for a little while. Get settled in. Like that. Now when they were little, they all huddled in a corner. The first the first time I stuck them out here in the coop, actually the first three nights, I stuck them in the coop. Uh, they would all huddle in a corner, so I had to physically pick them up and put them in the coop. And of course, as soon as I put one in, they'd start and run, ran right back out to try and go with the other one. So I'd have to shut the door quickly right behind them. 
I only had to do that about three times before they learned that that's their home. And there goes the last one. Tammy's going to bed. And now it's time to close them up. Okay, so uh, it, the sun set probably about five minutes, ten minutes ago. Birds are all in bed. They went in on their own accord, as you just saw. And uh, now I'm just going to tuck them in. So I'll show you what we do. Come on. First thing is, we're going to turn off the power. And then open the fence. Now I don't, uh, I don't leave this running at night. There's, I don't think there's any need to. I'm going to close up their food so animals don't get in to their feed, even though there's quite a bit on the ground anyway. And you can see Gary didn't go over. She'll go up on her own. I just gave her a little boost and helped her up. But she does go up on her own. I'm gonna make sure that we close this up and um, make sure this is down all the way. You can see this little extra piece of wood here. Um, we did have this with like the tiniest little crack, like literally I could barely get my fingers in there. And when the, the chickens were about four weeks old, a black snake crawled in there and tried to eat one of them. Um, and one of them died. Uh, she couldn't swallow the bird, but the snake sure did give it a try enough to, to strangle it first and then try and swallow it. And we found her the next day. Um, so we added this little piece of wood and lowered this down so now you can't get in there at all. Make sure that's closed. And, uh, and we'll seal this up. And this tarp is only on here to, keep, to offer them some shade during the summer. We'll take it off as it starts to uh, get a little cooler. Up here. That's it. Literally, that took me um, like just a few minutes. And that's it for today. So, hopefully, uh, you guys understand now like what it's like to take care of chickens on a daily basis. I'm going to do some other videos to show you some of the more um, tedious tasks, like actually fully cleaning out the coop, which I do about once a month, and also moving the coop and moving the fence. So we'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed.